Hello and welcome back to the channel. Some of you may remember there was a lot of talk about putting uh, Harriet Tubman's face on the $20 bill. But when Donald Trump took office, he decided we're going to put that idea up on the shelf. Let's just put it up here. We're going to push it down the road to 2028 sometime. We're going to put it up on the shelf. I don't want to talk about it right now. Don't want to deal with it right now. And so looking at uh, the time that we're in right now, um, it's safe to say that he didn't want it to happen during his administration, okay? And of course, at the time, he was probably thinking that he was going to get a full eight years, okay? So he's saying if it's going to happen, it's going to happen after I leave office, but certainly not during my time in office. So he put it up on the shelf, um, but Joe Biden is trying to revive the push to go ahead and make it happen. Now, some of the claims are that um, Trump and uh, his administration decided to put it on the shelf because they, they were using it as a way to combat counterfeiting efforts. And so I guess they felt like um, that was really the only reason we're doing it. So it's not a big deal right now. As a matter of fact, it says Trump's Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin announced during a 2019 congressional hearing that the redesign would be delayed until 2028. Mnuchin said at the time that the primary reason for redesigning a currency is to combat counterfeiting efforts. So I guess uh, that was one way to put it without seeming obvious that your real reason is because you really don't want to put Harriet Tubman's face on the bill. Okay, that was the real reason. Now, of course, a lot of people had a lot to say about this. Um, I remember talking about it. Um, and my reason for thinking that it wasn't a good idea was because for our people, that's like a, it's, it's like a victory that really isn't a victory. Okay, we get absolutely nothing out of it. As a matter of fact, I put on my Harriet Tubman outfit and I basically said, if you want to honor our people, honor us with reparations. Okay, that was that was what I said in a nutshell, because this doesn't honor her in any way. Okay, especially when you have a large portion of the population here in America who said that they will never use a $20 bill again if her face goes on it. So how is that an honor when you have people who oppose her being on it and people who were saying that they will burn it before they use it? I mean, so it's like a stirring of a pot of hatred more than anything. Now, again, some of our people see that as some type of victory, but I don't see it as a victory. Um, I like to put your money where your mouth is type thing uh, better, meaning you're talking about you want to honor our people or honor Harriet and her legacy. Um, instead of saying it, do something about it, okay? Um, give us all 20 million of those $20 bills each, <laughs> you see. Um, whenever the subject of reparations comes on the table for so-called black people, even though so many others have gotten reparations, the Japanese got reparations, even former slave owners got reparations. But whenever they talk about giving reparations to us, all of a sudden, everybody broke. All of a sudden, um, there's all of these other things that need to be considered first. All, all of a sudden, um, nobody agrees with it. No, no one thinks we deserve it. I mean, even though all of these other people deserved it in their eyes, but they come up with a million reasons why we don't deserve it. And so, again, this um, false, fake, counterfeit victory of putting her face on the money. Um, I really agree with those who say don't do it, but I do understand um, Biden taking it off the shelf because the reason it was put on the shelf in the first place by Donald Trump is for the very reasons why I don't want her face on the $20 bill. These people are filled with these feelings, these strong feelings against us to the point where they were, you know, vowing to never use it again. That's the same feeling behind why Trump put it on the shelf. So I want to know what your thoughts are in the comment section. What do you think? Is this something that honors her legacy, her um, accomplishments, her achievements? I remember even some were saying that 
um, during her time, she was an actual criminal. It was criminal to do what she did. I mean, of course, we know who the people were who, was, who were saying these things. But they said, how and why should we celebrate a criminal? So that's how a reprobate mind thinks. They can't think any other way. They saw this woman trying to free herself and other slaves as a criminal. When you're reprobate, you have no other way, way to go or no other way to think but that way. So anyway, again, tell me your thoughts in the comment section. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, share and like this video. And with that, I'm out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.